Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman. I am about to start a new video series of SolidWorks tutorials in which I will make this complete uh, uh, project of uh, crossflow hydro turbine. So um, almost each and every command of SolidWorks uh, will be utilized in this in this video series to make this project. We will make this turbine in very detail. So um, we will make uh, individual parts and then we will assemble them. There is another thing that uh, I have prepared a PDF drawings uh, for you guys to do practice on this project. So at the end when we will complete this project I will leave the download link of all these files in the description of this video. So uh, let's get started without wasting time. First of all let us uh, review all these drawings. So here on the page one you can see uh, it's the exploded view of the whole project this is the foundation these are the pulleys this is the counter shaft uh, assembly and this is the main turbine and then we have here uh, the drawings of individual parts here like pulleys call it catcher and uh, this is the frame or foundation of the uh, whole project this is the exploded view of the turbine assembly and you can see here uh, we have runner, we have body, we have uh, uh, rest of the uh, minor parts here and then we have individual drawings of each parts. You can see here uh, the exploded view of the runner. After watching this video series I am pretty sure that you will uh, learn lots of things of SOLIDWORKS. So here uh, is the dimensions for the runner then we have the collet catcher of the uh, for the runner then we have the dimensions for disc separately uh, here is the another disc then we have shaft this is the blade this is the exploded view of the whole body of the turbine uh, one more thing that I have to mention here is that this is the real project which has been manufactured and installed and working somewhere. Okay then um, the detailed drawings of the body of the turbine or you can say casing of the turbine. Then we have here exploded view of the guide band assembly. Here is are the here are the dimensions uh, for the guard band and uh, first of all let me tell you one more thing is that is uh, this turbine is a multi chamber turbine chamber 1 and here is the chamber 2 so uh, when uh, we see the guard band assembly we will see two guard bands uh, here this is the guard band A and this is the guard band B. So uh, you can see here guard band A and guard band, uh, guard band A and this is the guard band B. Then we have the dimensions for lever and other parts of uh, the guard band assembly. Then we have the shaft for the guard band and here is the exploded view of the counter shaft assembly and you can see different parts of it and uh, then we have the dimensions for assembled counter shaft assembly here and then the dimensions of individual parts this is the main shaft of the counter shaft assembly and uh, this is the housing and this is the base so um, let's get started start from page one so exploded view of whole uh, project then we have the first part to draw on solid wax which is the main pulley this one so um, the belts will be used C type and we have to make the grooves accordingly so open solid wax so now here uh, on solid wax start from new part and uh, then double click on the part here and uh, from right plane you can start making the sketch uh, First of all, I will um, uh, draw the center line uh, on the origin and then this sketch. And then I will revolve both base. Uh, I will use the revolve both base command uh, to make the pulley. So um, now um, let me draw the sketch first. This is the center line. Now 
memorize this sketch and draw the same sketch on your PC okay now um, we have to make some sketch relations first of all this line and this line should be collinear so select both of these lines and make them collinear then this line and this line should be collinear so uh, make them collinear rearrange the sketch if needed so now um, this line I mean all these lines should be collinear then all these lines should be equal all these lines should be collinear and equal then this line and this line should be equal and collinear there is a parallel relation between this line and this line which has been created accidentally so we have to remove all these parallel relations so select all the lines one by one make them de uh, delete them this line delete all this line delete all this line delete all this line all so uh, on the same way you have to delete all the parallel relations of these groups instead of parallel uh, we should have to make the equal relation of all these tapered lines so select all these tapered lines one by one by pressing on and holding the control key from your keyboard here is the equal now add the total dimension or total width of the pulley which is 144 millimeters as I have mentioned that I will uh, make this pulley for C belt so uh, C belt has this dimension uh, of 22 millimeters and this dimension is 14 millimeters now uh, this dimension is 5 millimeter rearrange the sketch like this then select this line and this line make them equal add this dimension which is 38.1 millimeter add the diameter uh, this board diameter which is 141 millimeters overall uh, diameter of the pulley is 54 inch so type 54 then in 4 inch diameter of this point is 201 millimeter and uh, rearrange the sketch now uh, this angle is if you can see here 2.3 millimeters uh, 2.3 degree 2.3 degree this diameter is 350 millimeters like this line and this line make them equal and collinear now add this dimension 32 millimeters this width is 76.2 millimeters now um, select the origin and this point make them vertically aligned ok uh, our sketch is still underdefined because of these blue lines um, we have to mention the angle so for uh, um, for C belt the angle between both these uh, lines is 40 degree our sketch is now fully defined you can see here 
now uh, what we have to do we have to go to features tab and from here we can use the revolved boss base command and then simply press ok button so now uh, next step is that we have to make these holes in the pulley so the diameter is 381 millimeter and the PCD is 781 millimeters uh, so now click on this phase and then sketch on it press ctrl plus 8 key for this view orientation draw a sketch like this define the diameter of this sketch which is 780 millimeters uh, because this is the this would be the PCD so select this circle and convert this circle into construction geometry draw another circle on this quadrant point and uh, the diameter of this circle is 381 millimeters so define this diameter 381 millimeters uh, if you are learning from this video then uh, comment below and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this uh, okay now go to features tab and from here use the extruded cut command and uh, click and drag this arrow like this to cut uh, from throughout this pulley press ok button now um, click uh, now we have to make the circular pattern of uh, this uh, hole so for that click on this arrow below the linear pattern and from here select circular pattern click on this direction one box and then select this circular edge type here the quantity which is 4 and uh, from here uh, feature and faces select this box drop down this arrow from here select this cut extrude 1 press ok button now uh, next step is that we have to make these holes so uh, the thread is M14 and quantity is 8 PCD is 175 millimeters now go to solid box again then click on hole wizard command here from here select hole wizard select this type of hole straight tap uh, ISO tapped holes M14 you can see here M14 so um, scroll down and from here select M14 here is the end condition drop down this option and from here select through all ok now click on position button here select uh, this face press ctrl plus 8 first of all draw a circle from origin like this check this box for construction because this would be the PCD uh, of those holes uh, PCD was 175 millimeters so define the diameter of this circle uh, which is 175 millimeter now simply uh, drop a point on this quadrant point press ok button one thing which is uh, missing is the thread call out so click on this uh, M14 tabbed hole uh, feature and then select edit feature scroll down and from here select this cosmetic thread option and from here check this option uh, with thread call out ok and then press ok button so here is the thread call out which means that this hole has the threads so now we have to make the circular pattern again circular pattern click on direction 1 box and then select this circular edge and the quantity is 8 for features and faces click on this box and drop down this uh, feature tree select this M14 tapped hole uh, yes quantity is 8 press ok button ok now pulley is ready you can save the uh, this file as uh, uh, main pulley I think this is enough for today's video if you want to get these uh, drawings for your practice 
for now you can comment below your email address and then i will send whole uh, this whole pdf to your email i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for upcoming videos of this series